Running ads is an important step nowadays for the success of low content books. And in my opinion, without running ads, you know, it's extremely difficult nowadays to, you know, get your books to do well and to succeed with with low content publishing. So in my opinion, it's an essential step. But this video isn't a tutorial on me showing you how to run ads, but instead the reasons as to why you might want to run ads. And the reasons that I'm going to mention are the exact reasons for why I personally also run ads. So reason number one is to rank newly released books onto the first page. So this is actually one of my books, the one that you can see over here. And let's say you've created this book and you've just released it. What you want to do is rank it onto the first page so that more customers see and discover your book and as a result potentially purchase it as well. And what usually happens is when you release a new book, you know, it doesn't end up on the first page straight away. It ends up somewhere on you know, pages six, seven, or even eight, or further down the pages. And what you want to do is rank it close to the first page. So on page four, and then three, two, and then one. And once you've ranked your book onto the first page, you don't also want to just leave it at that. What you want to do is get it close to the top, so that when someone searches for the keywords related to the niche, they discover your book and they potentially purchase it. So that's reason number one to rank books onto the first page and for every book that you create you know your goal should be to rank it onto the first page. What you don't want to do is just keep releasing new books one after another and you know just leave it at that and not have the goal or intention to get it onto the first page. So this is reason number one to rank books onto the first page. And reason number two is to maintain the rank of books. So once again using the same example uh, the plant care journal. So let's say you've ranked it onto the first page and as you can see here i've done so with my particular book what you don't want to do at this stage is to stop running ads what you want to do is continue running ads for as long as you can and whenever i start an ad campaign my goal is to you know keep running ads on the books forever and for as long as i'm doing kdp so you can see here that in this particular campaign i have this plant care journal so you can see that it's over here and if i just go to this tab over here you can see that if I just zoom in, I actually started this particular campaign back in 2021. So you can see that I started it in September of 2021. And now it's currently 2023. As you can see here, it's May. So for over two and a half years, I've been running ads on this particular book. So the one that I've just shown you, the Plant Care Journal. And I have no intention to ever stop running ads on the book or any books that I run ads on so long as they continue to make sales and I don't lose money on them. Now, of course, there are times when, you know, certain books, they don't perform well and I have to pause them and sort of give up on them and move on. But the ones that do make sales and, you know, don't make a loss for me, I continue to run ads on them for as long as I can. And I intend to run ads on them for many, many years to come. And what this does is these few extra sales that they generate per month, as you can see here that this plant care journal in the last 30 days, it sold four copies. So these few copies a month, even if they make a loss, you can see here that the ACOS isn't too good. Even if they make a loss, what it does is these few extra sales, they help maintain the rank of books. And as a result, more and more people discover your books and buy them organically. And you keep making sales on these books. And reason number three for running ads is to revive sales of books that have stopped performing well. So with this example over here, you can see that this mood tracker journal, which is also mine, you can see that uh, the sales have dropped recently. So if I go over here to one year, you can see that looking at this graph, you know, it used to sell a lot of copies last year. So last year in 2022, it would sell you know, six or seven copies a day. And you can see that over time, what happened was more and more competition came in and you know, the sales of this particular book is started to drop. So you can see over here that in the last few months it's dropped quite a lot. I mean, this may seem like I'm making quite a lot of sales, but when you compare it to say how it was before, you know, it's less compared to that. So what this has done is it's deranked my book. So initially my mood tracker journal, when I type in the keyword, it would appear on the first line of the first page, but you can see that it's currently on the second line. But a few weeks ago, it dropped even further and it was somewhere down the bottom of the page and it wouldn't make too many sales. So what I did was I started a new ad campaign on the mood tracker journal. And also what I did was I lowered the price to $3.99. So I'm not making any profit from this at the moment, but my goal is to, by lowering the price as well as running ads on this particular book, to once again rank it to the top of the first page. And as you can see here that, 
it's slowly you know coming to the top it's currently on the second line as i mentioned my goal is to you know have it ending up somewhere here and then what i'm going to do is raise the price of the book back to what it was before which was six dollars and 99 cents and then i may also lower the daily budget for ads for this particular book as well so these are the three main reasons I run ads on my books and I'm just going to leave you at that and if you want to learn about how I run ads on my books in a cost effective way then check out the video that's on your screen now and thank you for watching.